Akka HTTP builds on top of the Akka Actor system to create a HTTP server. In this short step-by-step -step walkthrough, we will build an API service and also set up proper course handling so a browser web page can request the service. I start with an empty folder where I first create a build SBT file, which is the manifest file for a Scala project using the SBT tool. In there, I provide basic information such as the project name, the project version, and specify that I use a Scala 3 version, which is for now the most current one. After that, I provide a list of dependencies, in particular the Eka Actor system, the Eka Stream, and the Eka HTTP dependency. That is the minimum to create a runnable Akka HTTP server. Additionally, I get the Akka HTTP spray dependency for JSON marshalling, as we will build a JSON API. Then I create the project folder structure, source, main, Scala, and in there I create the Scala file. In there, at first, I import the required packages. I import the actor system and the behaviors objects because we need an actor system for the HTTP server. Also, I import the HTTP object, which will start the server, and the directives in order to create HTTP routes. Now a main method to get an entry point for the program. Now I define an implicit variable and assign a new actor system with an empty root actor and an arbitrary name. The variable must be implicit because the HTTP object depends on an implicit variable of that type. Using the ECHA HTTP DSL, I define a route for an HTTP request. I define a route for the GET request and for the path hello by nesting the directives in any order. In there, I call the complete function to complete the HTTP request. For testing purpose, I return an HTTP entity with content type text plain and the hello world text. Now I can start the HTTP server by using the HTTP object. Tell which port I want and use and bind the routing to the server. The server is now ready to start. Run it with SBT run. Then test the hello world URL with the browser and see that it works. I would like to create a real JSON API service. I was thinking about a user CRUD service to create, read, update and delete a user. At first I define a user case class with all the desired attributes. A user will be represented as a JSON with the help of a JSON master lure. For that I import some packages from the spray JSON library. Then I need to define another implicit variable, this time of the type rootJSON format with the generic type user. I create a rootJSON format by using the JSON format function of the spray JSON library. Note that there are several such functions with numbers as a suffix. The number specifies how many parameters the constructor of the case class has. In my case it is 3. The ID, the name and the email of a user. So I use the JSON format 3 function and pass the constructor of my case class, which is the auto-generated apply function which all case classes have. Then I modify the existing HTTP GET routing by changing the path to user and then a slash to denote a slash in the path and then a long number object. That means we define a numeric path variable. This number will represent a user ID. So I nest a handler for the user ID into the path directive and complete the request with an instance of a user case class. The implicit defined variable for the root JSON format will be used as a marseller for the user case class. Now I can test the get URL by calling it in the browser. Furthermore, let's add another route to the server, this time it's a POST request to create a user. I use the POST directive and the PATH directive and then the ENTITY directive to denote that I expect an entity in the request. 
In the entity directive I use the as function with the generic type user. Here the implicitly defined rootjson format variable will be used as a marceller again. Having the unmarshaled object, I complete the request by returning the object. Since I now have several routes, I use the concat function of the ECA HTTP DSL to merge them into one route and bind them to the server. We can now define the put and the delete HTTP routings in the same way as before. I have created a simple JavaScript web page with buttons in order to test those four requests. By taking a look at the console, we see that the requests fail due to the same origin policy of the browser HTTP clients. We must implement course handling in the ACA HTTP service. There exists an extension for ACA HTTP which covers cross origin resource sharing. So I just add the corresponding dependency in the build SBT file. Also, I import the corresponding package to use the course directives objects. I also need to create an application configuration file so I can configure course handling. For that, I create the resource folder under source main and create the application conf file. In here, I set the course configurations, such as allowed origins and allowed methods. In the main method, where I have the routings, I create a wrapper routing by calling the course function. This will fetch the course configurations from the application conf file. So I add the concatenated routing which I already have to the course wrapper routing and bind that to the server. Then I successfully test the service calls from my test web page.